Hi everyone, we're gonna do a fun project making a truncated octahedron. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to STEM at Home. My name's Kevin Beck and I'm Lenovo's resident explainer of things. So today I'm gonna to take you through the science behind hexagons and we're gonna do a fun project making a truncated octahedron. Just a quick note, science is a lot of fun, but sometimes it can be a little bit dangerous. So make sure you have a parent present while you build your project. So the hexagon has been known for a very long time to have very good properties of strength. If you've ever thought about why are honeycombs hexagons? Well, there's a shape that you find in nature and they are used uh, extensively in computing to make the air holes or the vents on computers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our string first and we're just gonna cut uh, less than a foot and I'm gonna make a bowline knot on one end. I'm gonna do a kind of slip knot here and I'm gonna put it around one of my push pins. So now I'm gonna take my cardboard box and I'm gonna draw a circle. I'm gonna take my push pin and I'm gonna put it at a spot on the hexagon and then I'm gonna put my push pin into another spot and I'm gonna go from mark to mark. So I'm gonna take my straight edge and I'm gonna go from mark to mark. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this out. Folks, let's take this edge here and use that to draw a square that matches up to that side. So what we wanna do now is we're going to draw our pattern. I'm gonna start with one hexagon here. So the next one, I line up here. Now we have our completed template for our truncated octahedron. So what we do now is we begin to cut this out. So that's what our um, completed pattern looks like. Now we need to take our straight edge and begin bending, do a little taping here. So here we go everybody, here's the finished thing. Um, so what I've done is I've taped mine uh, when I put it together on all the sides and then I've taped all the way around every side to give it strength because this is something you know I want to have to play with and experiment with. So as a final test, let's see how much weight it can hold. Goes the first one. Goes the second one. Third book. It's there it goes. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me today for this episode of STEM at Home. I hope you enjoyed learning about hexagons while we made our truncated octahedron. Stay tuned for more episodes in this series, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.